Hi, this is Jimmy with SpeedOnTheWater.com coming to you live from Monster Bash 2014. With us today is Wynn Farnsworth and he's the owner of Silver Lining. He, it is a 41 foot DCB and let me tell you I am so gracious for taking me for a ride to that was just fantastic man. That was the fastest I've actually been on water and I can personally tell you I've been in boats that are 60, 70 miles an hour than Warren. Uh, I felt as safe as as today was being in your boat. Yeah. So so I understand you're not from around here. Where did you travel from? I uh, came in from Denver, Colorado uh, on Wednesday. Okay. So um, we, we uh, this is our home base for boating, but uh, we do live in Denver. Right. So you do travel quite a bit. What are some other poker runs you've traveled to and what kind of, what are some of those dis distances? We do, uh, we, we um, start the season, uh, the boating season in February uh, with the Miami International Boat Show and Poker Run. Uh, by the Florida Powerboat Club and then we uh, come back all the way across the country here for uh, Desert Storm um, and bounce back and forth. Uh, Lake Cumberland, Kentucky, uh, Lake of the Ozarks, Missouri, um, Galveston, Texas for the Texas Outlaw Shootout. Uh, so we're, we travel a bunch. Great, great. So, you know, obviously the, the fun of boating, meeting new people, but what else really drives you to these, to these events? Um, well, obviously the people's a huge element of it. I mean, as you're seeing here this week, it's uh, it's a really strong group of people that is almost a fraternity-like. Um, the uh, the ability uh, to put uh, the the speed and power uh, and the elegance of our products on the water, uh, as well as the people, and then and ultimately the charity, uh, the charitable aspect of it is something that we really enjoy doing. Right. So I understand in Wyoming you do a campaign every year. It raises a lot of money. Tell us a little bit about what you do for, do there. We do. Uh, there's a, a, a lady in Casper, Wyoming. Her name's Lisa Eads. Uh, her son, uh, Jason, uh, died at a young age of uh, brain, can brain cancer. So uh, they have a charity now uh, that they put together called Jason's Friends, uh, and it helps the families of Wyoming uh, that, are, that have children suffering uh, with a, a debil debilitating disease such as uh, uh, childhood brain cancer. So um, we actually donate uh, money to that charity. We do a nice poker run up there every year uh, that raises an extraordinary amount of money for the, for the small event that it is. Uh, and really, I'm the only powerboat that's there of, of any size. Um, we're hoping to get a bigger draw in the future, but it's it's very charity focused, um, and it's always 100 plus k of, of earnings every year. Uh, we do charity rides on the boat there. We've done them at Lake of the Ozarks. Uh, we do them here at Desert Storm, and obviously I did some more today. I got two more at seven o'clock in the morning. So uh, uh, we do a lot of charitable events. It's a lot of fun. That that that's that's great. That's great. Now I'm personally an owner of a 29 foot boat, and I know what it takes to labor love, you know. And I'm I treat my boat really nice. What's it like to campaign? I mean, I'm gonna call your boat. You got to campaign this. For me, I just take out my boat, drive 20 miles, and put it in the water. That's not the same thing. What what is what do you go through for something like this? It's a commitment. There's it's definitely. Uh, uh, an extraordinary commitment. I've got a gentleman named Chris Kissinger uh, that uh, works with me, drives the truck, uh, and hauls the boat across the country. And then Robbie Willis from uh, Elite Marine and Motorsports. Uh, he is our mechanic, and so he travels and flies into wherever we're at, so that we always have a mechanic uh, with us, so we can we can take care of business if something breaks. Uh, I did blow some transmissions at a charitable event in in Wyoming this year, and that is not a very good feeling, right? So you got all these people waiting for rides. So we now have. A whole parts truck, and we have uh, we have uh, a mechanic, so we can get back on the water. So very yeah, important. Yeah, that's that's great. Now I understand also you have one of the first. You have not one of you have the first 41 footer M41 out of the mold. Leading up to that, when you worked with DCB, what were did you have any concerns or anything? Or oh sure, yeah, we uh, uh, a lot of effort, right? I mean, to go from a CAD drawing to um, actually getting uh, the cores cut, building the molds, uh, and working with Dave uh, the whole time on that process, right? I mean, I didn't have my hands in it, uh, but from a design perspective, we worked very closely to make sure that um, it was going to meet the needs and expectations that I had. Uh, and again, all I had was a drawing. I had an F32 uh, DCB before, um, and we just, to take that that step was, was an important thing for their business, uh, as well as it was for us to get into a boat that had a little more beam to it, uh, a little more ocean worthy so we could go to Miami and do those kind of poker runs. 
Um, but it was uh, it was a commitment from everyone. The boat took a lot of time. Uh, just the sanding on the boat was about five, six times longer than we thought it would be. Um, the man, man hours were ridiculous. It's, uh, again, the first Class A surface boat that anybody built. So what that means for us is it's all done with CAD Unigraphics type architecture from a software perspective to, to build the boat perfectly straight. Um, so uh, from, uh, from that perspective, and that's kind of how I operate in my business, I wanted something that was uh, not handmade, that was actually generated uh, out of some sort of technology product that could make a straight, fast, clean boat. Right. What motor is you running in there? It's got Mercury 1350s, so we've got 100 and just clicked over 130 hours today, so no trouble free. Right, and I know you've done the shootout a couple times out at Lotto and Desert Storm, and you're getting the speeds you thought you would get when you got into yeah. the boat and everything? Yeah, I mean, we got good speed out of the boat. Um, we were class winner at, at Lodo this year. Uh, we were, um, we've uh, been class winner out here at, at Desert Storm as well. Uh, so we, we are very, uh, we're class winner at Texas last year. Um, so we, we, the boats ran really, really well. So um, it's, it's a real smooth boat. Uh, that 165, 170 miles an hour it runs really smooth there. Uh, it's. Um, you know, it gets quiet in there at that at that speed. Nobody, everybody's concentrating. But uh, and typically, that's just Chris and I at those kind of speeds. But we'll run. We ran 158 today, so that that's uh, uh, that's good with six people in the boat just cruising around. Yeah, yeah, especially with a lot of traffic on the lake. Yeah, so great. Well, when I really appreciate your time, Absolutely. and thanks again Thank for uh, spending time with SpeedOnTheWater.com. And so this is Jimmy uh, saying farewell from SpeedOnTheWater.com and Monster Bash 2014. Thank you.